Hi everyone, Joe Brady here, and we've got something very different today. It's a synthesizer, and it's called the Mini Nova from Novation. Now, you might be asking, what possible use could this thing have for photographers and videographers? I was curious about this myself, which is why I wanted to take a closer look. What I was thinking about for photographers and videographers was having the ability to create sounds for photo slideshows and videos, and in particular, for creating some stingers and bumper music for intros, logo reveals, and end titles. Though small, the Mini Nova is a full-fledged performance and recording synthesizer that you could spend weeks, no, you could spend months exploring this thing. But we've only got five minutes or so, so what can I possibly add that hasn't already been covered? I also wanted to present this in a way that wasn't for professional musicians. Sure, you need to know a little bit about finding your way around a keyboard, and it helps to at least know what a triad is along with some basic chords. But you'll be amazed what you can create with just one or two fingers, and possibly even your voice, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. Now, the keyboard itself has 37 notes and three octaves that can be expanded up and down with the octave switch. Let me move the microphone out of the way, which is right here. So if I play a note, bring the volume down a bit. So if I play a note, hit the octave switch down, octave down, octave down again, octave down again. And conversely, and they are color coded by the way, no lights on means you're back in the middle. Octave up, octave up, octave up. This is handy because what you can do is you can start playing something and then add a note at a different octave. So something like, The Mini Nova can be used standalone with or without MIDI connections to other sound modules or keyboards. The manual that comes with the unit actually has a very good sound synthesis tutorial introduction for those of you interested in learning more about digital sound synthesis. For those of us who want to start making noise right away, the Mini Nova comes preloaded with a set of 256 factory installed sounds that you can use as is or tweak to your heart's content. There are a couple things that those new to synthesizers might not know. Number one, you can play one sound type, which is called the patch, at a time. You can't layer different sounds. Also, number two, the unit does not have any onboard recording. You need to either have a sound recorder or connect the unit to your computer to run it into music software, say something like GarageBand, etc., to archive and record your music. Three, there are no drum tracks in the unit. This might not seem obvious when you watch some of the online demos of the unit. All of the drum tracks you're going to hear there are coming from other devices. Now, two of the features that I really like about this unit are the arpeggiator and the vocoder. The arpeggiator is simple to use and will surprise you every time you use it with the amazing sequences of sounds it will create for you. Let's take a look and listen to some samples. So I'm going to go take the type knob and I'm gonna spin it around to ARP, which is the arpeggiator. I can also turn it on here, and then just pick a sound. And as I do that, you can see all of these light up, and these are gonna be all of the sequences in that. So if I hit a note, and another note, and keep adding to it, and then it fades away beautifully. Now on the top, this is the arpeggiator controller here. We turn it on and off here. Latch is basically sustain. It means it's like if you had a sustain pedal, it will just keep it going until you release that button. And then this is the tempo. So what it allows me to do, I'll turn latch back on. If I just have one note, I can increase the speed or down. and I can start adding notes to it. And just as I mentioned, one or two fingers. And if you know some chords, pretty cool, just with a couple of fingers and uh, there's, there's really no limit. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other sounds. There's some classic. Synthesizer sounds like strings here. And if I use the octave key, then I can get that big note here. <clears throat> A lot of 
like that one. Uh, let's talk about the vocoder a little bit. What a vocoder allows you to do is to combine your voice and or another instrument with the synth sounds. If you simply sing or speak into the microphone, you can just speak into it. Regardless of what pitch your voice is at, the sounds that come out will be the key or keys you are playing. So I'm going to bring the, uh, the microphone up here. If you know some chords or just some triads, you can make your main voice sound like this. So let's sum this up. The Novation Mini Nova 37 Mini Key Synthesizer Vocoder features, well, for a small size, it's really a massively powerful synthesizer. Uh, you've got voice tune and classic vocoder effects. You can tweep and warp your sounds in real time. I didn't even get into the performance knobs. Uh, there's so many options on here where you can start to change filters, etc. Again, that's a, a job for people really getting into sound synthesis. There are 256 amazing sounds on board that are instantly searchable and you can look at them by name or by number. Uh, you can layer up to five different effects per each voice. Uh, it does include an editing software and a patch librarian. So if you're fooling around and you come across something really cool, you can save it. Uh, you can also run guitars and other instruments through the vocoder and have those effects with other instruments. As I mentioned, this also functions as a 37-key controller keyboard with MIDI input-output should you just want to play a software instrument on your computer. But there are basic keyboards for that. This little beast is made to blast out sounds of its own. Thank you so much to the folks at Photo Savings for loaning me the synthesizer. I had a great time with it and I was able to get it up and running in no time at all. It's one of those things you can play with and create cool sounds. You could spend months exploring what it can do, but you can also create really cool stuff practically right out of the box. I hope you had some fun. I had a lot of fun with this too. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you online again soon.